Hey, hi, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. I want to start off this video by talking about today's sponsor really quickly. It's CVS. Like the CVS. Like the corner store CVS that I literally was at this morning buying a hairbrush because I lost mine. Okay? Clearly a big fan. As you guys know, my new rotation, I am back at the hospital, so I'm leaving the house. I'm prepping all my lunches again, prepping all my snacks. You guys see on my Instagram stories that I'm sharing a ton of those now. So it's really important to be prepared. Prepping my food, making sure I have snacks on hand, and I was so unaware. I don't know what I was doing. CVS, you guys, they have plant-based jerky. Skinny dipped peanuts, peanut butter, and jelly. I'm gonna try these in a second. Bean chips, higher fiber. They have fruit bars. They have freeze dried berries. They have lesser evil popcorn. They have vital proteins water. Amazing, amazing options for on the go. I had no idea. I guess I must have been like sleeping under a rock. If you guys are ever on the go now that things are going back to normal, CVS is your spot if you find yourself hangry and looking for a quick snack. They have so many healthy products. Things that I could only find like online before and order them or go to like a specialty grocery store for. I'm literally shook. But I want to try these because these look bomb. Peanut butter and jelly peanuts. Oh my god. Alright, I need to stop eating these because I have to go do a workout in 15 minutes and I want to throw up everywhere. Thank you CVS for sponsoring that part of the video. You guys? Notice anything different? Herm's like, no one cares. And that's okay. But uh, I got the Nike Dunks. And I know we talked about this. I've been wanting them for a while. Um, and I have them. I don't know, I'm just going to Costco. So this is like my outfit just to go to Costco. Just running errands. I think it's, they're so cute. And I just, I feel cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. You know, you just like put a cool piece of clothing on and you just feel cool. That's how I feel right now. So, that's all I really have to say about that. I know they're not for everyone. I also get that. These are bright orange. But you guys know I have a lot of neutral, clearly neutral outfits. So, I thought it was like a fun summer pop. Costco time. It's a beautiful day. We're meal prepping for the week. And I am going to make some chia seed pudding. So, pudding. I got just some chia seeds and some cashew milk. And then um, I will probably add my gross vanilla extract that has been through a lot. Yes, that's probably all I'll do. And for ratios, I kind of just eyeball it. I'll probably do like half cashew milk, half water. And I'm just gonna make a big tub of it and then I'll just keep it at work in the fridge and then I'll just kind of like pick at it. You can put the frozen berries on it. Bless you, frozen berries on it to- Berries and what? Berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, it's a lot of berries and cream. We're gonna get demonetized. You sound just like him. <laughs> like frozen berries on top, and then by the time you take it to work, they'll defrost and it'll be like really good. Um, you can do like shredded all or slivered almonds, shredded coconut, just a bunch of different toppings. So I'm just gonna make the base, and then depending on what I feel like every day, I'll kind of change it up. All right. So I wish it's like a better height. I'm just gonna come down here a little bit. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. Uh, a little more. I had chia seed pudding on my acai bowl today and it just really inspired me. So I'm doing about, I don't know, maybe like a fourth cup. And then I'm just gonna fill. And I'll add some water also. I like my chia seed pudding a little like, runnier, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna take probably like a half a cap full of vanilla extract. To kind of give it a base flavor and then some cinnamon. Okay, close it up and you're just gonna shake it. And you wanna put it in the fridge and then shake it every like five minutes for like the first 20 minutes, maybe, just so that nothing settles at the bottom. And then you'll start to see them gelatinize and then we'll make cheesy pudding. So it's really quick, really easy, simple recipe if you wanna call it that. But I think it's really delicious. High in fiber, if you don't know, chia seeds are a great source of omegas, and also fiber, so, like this says, in one tablespoon, there's five grams of carbs, four grams of fiber, uh, two grams of protein, high in magnesium, phosphorus, iron, zinc, just great stuff, full of healthy fats, lots of fiber. 
I think they're delicious and it's an easy way. So you gotta keep shaking it. Easy way to just bulk up your nutrition a little bit in a fun way. And it's easy, quick meal prep. Also, hard boil some eggs, probably. Yeah, hard boil some eggs and then we're gonna make like a tuna salad. So I'll share that with you too. That's what we're making for lunch. Keep shaking it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. You could do like stevia or um, honey, agave. Just couldn't do like that much. This is a lot of servings. And again, I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on the consistency. You can see how it's kind of thickening up a little bit. If it doesn't get a little thicker, I'm gonna watch it for like a little longer. It's been about 20 minutes. Then I'll just add a couple more chia seeds. Just depends on your consistency that you like. It's looking good. I'm gonna make some tuna salad now and I will walk you through how I do that. All right, here are all the ingredients I use for the tuna salad. I usually switch up the vegetables um, just based on what I have, but I always try to do celery and onion. Sorry, man, it's playing video games. I'll either eat, like dip these in the tuna salad or I'll cut some up. I probably will do both. Then I'm also gonna eat it with some crackers. These are the almond flour, simply mill, or simple mills ones. I love this brand. They're just really simple ingredients. We love those. Salt and pepper, onion, we have some parsley left over, so I'm gonna put some of that in. Obviously chopped celery. Then you can either do all Greek yogurt or do like half and half or you can do all mayo. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'll probably do like three fourths plain Greek yogurt and then like a fourth mayo. I have three cans of tuna, some pickles. Really simple. Obviously you can add whatever you want. I've added like capers before, olives for a little more brininess. Um, it's really up to your preference. This is basically what I'm going to do. It's really hard to mess up and it stays for a couple days. I usually eat it before then. A tip I have is to really crush up the tuna before you add anything else into it just makes it easier I'll eat it just with some of these bell peppers like this. You with uh, celery, carrots, cucumber, bell peppers, and then also some crackers. Mm. So good. Perfect. While I have the celery out, I'm just gonna chop some of it up and then also eat it with some just some peanut butter. So celery and peanut butter would be another little snack. Also I realized that these are from Costco, these celery sticks, and they're nice because they're not, like they're already off the stock. And I guess that makes sense because they're called sticks, but I never saw it before. So they're already just like already individually ready to go. So that's really convenient for even a quicker meal prep. I just like chop off the edges, rinse them really quick, and there we go. So basically what I have for lunch tomorrow, having quick snacks just because we're constantly running to see patients. So like quick, easy snacks are the go-to. So I have my tuna salad in here that I'll eat with these crackers and these bell peppers, then celery and peanut butter, then an apple and a mandarin. And then I have some chia seed pudding in here that I will top with frozen berries and like shredded coconut and other stuff. Um, and maybe even some sunflower butter when I get to work. This is gonna be great. Keep me full at work, high protein, high fiber, some good healthy carbs. Snacks are the easiest thing for us because we don't have a lot of time to eat and we kind of just eat between patients, so. That's what I'm doing. Let me know if you guys like seeing this kind of stuff. If it's helpful for you, I can keep sharing it. Um, but yeah, let me know. 
All right, making chicken thighs. Matt's famous chicken thighs from the cookbook. Oh, oh my gosh. So freaking good, you guys. So easy. He popped them in the marinade last night and then I just put them in here. So crispy. They're just delicious. We get boneless and skinless. You can do this. The marinade works on any chicken though. I, we just like chicken thigh. It is a little higher fat, but it just tastes way better. So we love it. But oh mama. Whew! Such a good easy. Just have a bunch of meal prepped chicken. I know a lot of people like shredded chicken and that's okay. like I used to be okay with shredded chicken, but I ate it so much that I was just sick of it. I like texture. I like crunch. I like flavor, okay? So this is great. Just pair it either with some rice, some veggies, call it a day. You can put it in a wrap, make a buffalo chicken wrap. All right, so I'm prepping my lunch for tomorrow. Again, I'm air frying chicken, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but for lunch tomorrow, this is what I'm thinking. I've been craving just a lot of like fresh vegetables and fruits and I don't know, like cold things. It's so hot here. It's literally 102 degrees with like 50% humidity. So. I just want cold things. I don't know. I'm having just a base of mixed greens. I got some of those heirloom tomatoes and then I'm just gonna do a big handful of some of this chicken thigh that I air fried. And then I'm gonna do some kimchi also. And then the dressing I made because I'm going a little like Asian flair with this, I put coconut aminos, rice wine vinegar, majority olive oil and then like a splash of sesame oil just to have that nice sesame, soy saucy rice wine vinegary flavor so it takes on a little bit more of an asian flavor kimchi is great for probiotics and gut health a bunch of greens high fiber it's filling with the protein this also has some good fats in it it is higher fat since chicken thigh versus like a breast or something so you got some good fats from the olive oil as well um so this is a pretty pretty good meal or base but i like to snack more especially like i'm just a snacker i made my chia seed pudding that I posted about on my Instagram. I made a reel about it. This is what I mean, like shake it every 30 seconds for the first five minutes so that it doesn't separate. But I will top this with frozen berries in the morning. That's just what it looks like now. I'm gonna add a scoop of kimchi to this. I'm gonna chop up an apple. I'm gonna split this with Matt. Um, I already made his lunch. I can show you what I make him also. I don't always make his lunch. He's just out at dinner right now with, a, with some surgeons, so. I took it upon myself to just meal prep since I was already doing myself. And then in here, I just have some walnuts and then two Brazil nuts for my morning little, I don't know, I just like having those in the morning. Also in the morning, I'll take one of these paleo bars just to eat in the car while I'm driving there. So again, good healthy fats in the morning, keeping me full, satiated, stabilizing my blood sugar, and then I have these good snacks for later on throughout the day. Let me show you what I made Matt. I'm lucky, Matt is such not a picky eater. He's not a picky eater at all. So I am very lucky about that because based on your DMs that you guys tell me, a lot of your guys are picky eaters and I I don't have the best advice for it just because I, I'm fortunate in that way that Matt is likes to eat a lot of things. Okay, so he likes to have one of these yogurts, two good yogurts, two grams of sugar and that granola that I showed you, that's one of his snacks. Packed him a chomp. So these are the new pepperoni ones that they just came out with that they sent us in this adorable pepperoni box. So that, that's another snack. He also loves Quest Bars, another snack. And then two cheese sticks, another snack for him. And then he has three hard boiled eggs. He put celery salt on them. So as you can tell, <laughs> we both work in hospitals, so it's kind of, it's, it's hard to have a full meal. Matt's typically eating in his car. So he likes quick things that don't have to be really heated up that can be eaten cold. So he has some just chicken thigh and rice in here. I put some buffalo sauce, that Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce and a little bit of the Bolt House Farms Ranch. So it's like a little buffalo chicken rice bowl in there. Then this and then I'll also give him half this apple just cause this is massive. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how big this is. But yeah, we both eat on the go and we're both snackers in that way. It's just easier for us. And we, he doesn't have a microwave to heat up his food. So it's very unique situations, <laughs> but this is, this is what he takes with him. So it's pretty easy to pack honestly because it is a lot of snacks. So it's not a ton of preparation. 
I guess the only thing I really had to prep was, I guess, hard-boiled eggs and then the chicken thigh, but I'll have two hard-boiled eggs in the morning along with my paleo bars for breakfast and then this is what's what I'll eat at work and then obviously we come home and we have dinner. So pretty good pretty good day of eating. Lots of good veg, proteins, healthy fats. Love to see it. Behind the scenes, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I, I post like this this picture. Basically this every morning when I'm meal prepping and kind of outline everything that I'm bringing. So follow along there if you want like daily updates but all right, guys, I just got back from Ulta, so I'll just show you quickly what I got. I got some more of this Loving Tan 2-Hour Express in dark. I love the 2-Hour Express option just for days where I forget to sell tan because that happens way more often than not. And I ordered um, a more natural self-tan from, from Coco and Eve, I think it's called, but like a week and a half ago, and it still hasn't come. So I was waiting out on this. But I'm going to Austin this weekend for a bachelorette party for my sister-in-law. And I needed to self tan, so I had to go and buy this. It's literally like 8.30 p.m. the day before I leave. I, I waited as long as I could. Then I also just needed some more face drops. These are just the Tanologist ones in, I think, yeah, dark. And this is brand new. I've actually, I've tried the Tula, um, like, under eye stick balm thing, the pink one, which I actually really like. I think it does make a difference. It's cooling and it brightens up your under eyes. But I want, I need a new moisturizer because I'm out and I, I don't know, you guys know my skin issues right now on my skin journey. I've been using castor oil mixed in my Curology moisturizer, but I'm out of my Curology moisturizer now. So this is what I'm going to try. It is a little expensive. It's like $52 for this little thing, but I hope it works. I don't know. It says it's all of these things free, so I feel like that's good. And then it has prebiotics. I don't know. I mean, I obviously love probiotics for your, for your gut, like ingesting it. I don't know about on the skin, how that works, whatever. But yeah, so I'm going to try this out. And if you guys have tried any Tula products, let me know. This obviously is not sponsored or anything, but I don't know. I'm curious. If I like this, I'm going to try more from them. That's my little Ulta haul. Like, literally $140 later. What? How does that happen? So fast. Herman's watching Food Network. I just got home, and whenever I leave, I leave the TV on for him so he can watch TV, and he loves Food Network, he told me, so. I have to pack this weekend. We're going to Austin for Bachelorette. We have, like, an Airbnb with a pool and a pool party. It's going to be so fun. I leave tomorrow after work. Or, I think I'm, depending on when I get off work, I might leave Saturday morning really early because Austin's only, like, two hours away. Two and a half hours. It just depends. I don't want to be driving really late at night. But, yep, that is the Ulta haul. All right, you guys, this is a prime example. Prime example of I have nothing planned for dinner. There has been a break in this vlog, okay? I'm coming back from a bachelorette party this weekend. It is Monday. There's a long pause here. I'm making one of my favorites. It is just a taco salad. If I had tortillas, we'd be making tacos, but I don't have those. I just have some spring mix, ground turkey, these Benito's chips from CBS, you guys. That's my cute new nephew. <laughs> new. It's brand new. <laughs> um, but these are high fiber bean chips. They're so good. Got some guac, some salsa. These are left over from the bachelorette party this weekend. I brought them and we didn't eat them, so I brought them home along with this. And then a jalepeno. And then I'm just gonna season the meat with like taco seasoning, like cayenne, salt, pepper, paprika, cumin, all that. You could also use a pre-made one if you want. Just watch the sodium a little bit. Gonna cook this up and then assemble. It's so easy. Matt will probably put some, you know, actual dairy cheese on his, but again, I'm trying to cut that out just because of my skin. And it's actually been working. Should I show you what I look like? Oh my God, I look terrifying. Okay. I just got home from a workout. Haven't worked out. It is storming. Also, our house, our apartment's a mess, but it's storming outside. Herman's scared. Bub, are you scared? Are you scared of going outside? Are you scared of the outside? Costco. You scared of the outside? You don't like the rain. Like, I don't, I can take you out again, but you just don't like the rain. All right, well, also, I just have my pimple cream on. 
but my skin is actually doing a lot better. Obviously, I notice it more than other people because I look at it every single day, up close and personal. I'm just gonna whip this up. It's not hard. It's really not hard. Cook this in a pan, okay? Put your taco seasoning in. About a tablespoon, or about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, a teaspoon, depending on how spicy you want. Um, and then it also makes great meal prep because we'll have leftovers. Key, all right? Nothing else you have to make. That's, this is all you have to make. <laughs> Work harder, no. Work smarter, not harder, you guys. CVS, CVS. I'm sorry, I'm just hyped about this sponsor, you guys, okay? You gotta be proud of me for that one, okay? That's pretty cool. All right, let's make some food. Oh, I don't think I showed you this yet. My ADD is pissing me off, so I'm just apologizing. I saw this on TikTok. It's frozen cucumber on your face to help with, you know people who have like ice rollers? You don't need that. Frozen cucumber. I just run a little water on the top just to kind of get it started, <laughs> get it going. Rub it on, you can depuff, but I put it on my acne also. And I swear to God, it helps bring down the inflammation. Cucumber is really calming. You know, like all those masks with like cucumber and spa treatments with cucumber. Just pop in the fridge. You gotta fill yourself a free ice roller, okay? Don't say I never taught you anything. Also, <laughs> look at the flowers that Matt got me. <laughs> if he wanted to, ladies, he would. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm on one. I'm gonna just cook right now. All right, so we are making the taco salads. I already showed you this stuff. I'm cooking up the ground turkey, but I also am adding some beans as well because one of our favorite tricks for, for bulking up ground turkey is adding riced cauliflower, just plain riced cauliflower. I know it sounds weird, but you really can't tell. But we don't have any of that right now, shocking. <laughs> shocking, I know. So to add some just more bulk and some fiber, I'm just gonna remove the turkey and then heat up these beans. I rinse them and then I'm just gonna season them with more taco seasoning. And then I'm just gonna probably do a little bit of meat just for some protein and then also I'm just gonna get some beans. We'll have leftovers for tomorrow. And if you're like a vegetarian or vegan, using black beans or any type of bean, high fiber, high protein, season them the same with just taco seasoning or whatever seasonings you want and they kind of cook down and mush down into, like keep some texture of them, but they mush, mush down, <laughs> mush, mush down nicely for a plant-based option. And then you just build it the same. So with this, with the beans, then this would be a whole vegan, vegetarian lunch, dinner, whatever, meal prep. 